This is the one mile two, not to ninety bonus king handicap for three year olds and up. Humid rarity for D Thompson nine to one, Kuatsi Scrolla for James Shea forties, Blood Orange for Dan French, seven to two favourite, Townhouse David Lad sixteen, swinging groom Martin Leadham nines, early warning Paul Parsons forty, Steamboat Willie for Grey fifteen to two, Replica for Drake fourteens, pretty getaway for Grey five to one, and the outlaw for Nick seven to one, well time Paul Parsons nines to two, Laram, Matt Cooper fourteens, Claritin for Obi Wan fourteens, and Camelot for Jamie Hopkins forty to one, fourteen go to post for the bonus king handicap. And they're off. It's a good start from Humid Rarity, as well as Replica on the rail. Camelot outside, early warning through the middle. Early warning is just about going to take this up with his stable mate. Well timed on the outside. On the inside, we've got Humid Rarity. La Ram has now taken it up as they go towards the mile. La Ram is kicked on by about two lengths now. Humid Rarity has a nice position in second on the rail with early warning alongside Steamboat Willie coming up through the middle, swinging groom pushed up along the outside and the rest have settled in behind, a few being ridden along there, the outlaw uh, also Claire Tim being ridden along as they come round the bend quite a few caught out wide Quatsy Scroll is caught out wide with Claire Tim um, swinging groom is also caught out pretty wide but it's Laram uh, going to the six furlong point Early warning in second, Humid Rarity being shoved along in third, also being pushed along Steamboat Willie in the middle with Blood Orange and Camelot. As, um, there's a wall of about seven swinging around that bend, but Laram has uh, settled nicely, probably going a little too quick at this stage, I would say. Humid Rarity now being pulled alongside with Early Warning. On the outside, Well Times is coming nicely with a run. They're still quite a way out, just... Under four furlongs out. Laram, Humid Rarity, well timed. Steamboat Willie coming through the middle of a nice run here. Camelot is also making ground of early warning. Replicas looking dangerous in behind. No movement yet there. Pretty getaway down the outside as well. The Outlaw and Swinging Groom are coming, but it's Humid Rarity and Steamboat Willie who take on the long time leader, Laram. Humid Rarity has taken the front from Steamboat Willie. Replica has now started moving after travelling nicely in behind. And also Coatsi Scuola has travelled well nicely down the outside. It's Humid Rarity going into the final furlong from Steamboat Willie. Humid Rarity, Steamboat Willie, Coatsy Scuola. It looks like it's probably going to be Humid Rarity, but is he going to see the trip out? Coatsy Scuola is coming well down the outside. Replica still is trying to stay on, but it's Humid Rarity who wins it for Darren Thompson and takes the 0-90 bonus king handicap. Good win there. Was always positioned nicely on the rail in about second or third and uh, played into that one's hands. Good ride. Good win. Humid Rarity for 10 to 1 for Darren Thompson. Katatsi Scuola for James Shea ran nicely in second. That's what having going wide the whole way. 50 to 1. Steamboat Willie is third for Gray at 15 to 2. Replica ran well for Drake Hogan in fourth at 14th. And Pretty Getaway was fifth for Gray at 11 to 2.